And we're back for round two for this historical rules event. It is server one, server two is being covered by BLN and Mr. Eagle. This is Bloody Lane, 197 on the server pop, 99 on the defending CSA versus 97 for the Union team. Let's take a look at the CSA team starting out. We got two core uh, with one gun. Let's see. And again, are they moving out earlier than the... Uh, did it change? Is it no longer 40? That move out time is? I might have... That rule might have changed on me. So we got Zio Panama leading this element of 2 core. Along with Braun from the other elements. And then we have HL under TJ. 13th Georgia under Lieutenant Eagle. And 4th Georgia under Mr. Owens. Am I missing anybody? Uh, looks like we got 4th New Jersey as well under... Mr. Victor. All right, I think that's it. I got a couple guys up here randomly, kind of scouting out, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. We've got 11th MS under Captain Porb for the Union. We've got Souther leading the 88th New York. Eddie leading the 2 USC. Parker leading the 6 New York. And first sergeant. Crewman. I don't know. That's a, you're gonna have to help me on that one. Leading fifth corps. And here we go with the main attack coming down here. Up and over, independent fire boys. Careful with the crossfire, boys. Prenez du camp deux si vous mourrez. Prenez du bouc and ball. Prenez bouc and ball quand vous. C'est pas pour moi. Get in, put butts, butts. Now there is no sprinting and no bayonets right now, so to do a full attack like this is uh, not an easy thing to do, but the Union is attempting it. And they are pushing. They're, uh, they're pushing. They have not lost yet. And in fact, they are going forward here. Now, uh, what the fuck here? All right. GPU, are you collapsing on me? Is that what's happening right now? All right, so it looks like, although the Union has gotten to the first fence here, they are getting stuck in a hell of a crossfire here, and are getting torn to shreds. And it is time to get out of here, guys. This is not sustainable. And you might try to save your flags if you want to. Flag up, put these flags up, get these flags up. How the fuck are we alive? Because we are confederates. Get this. Hey. What the? Now, although the attack failed, it looks like the Union flags are mostly able to get out of here. Last man out of here. Serpentine. Do you hear him? And he makes it out alive. Good man. And um, so that is a very unsuccessful initial attack here from the Union. But they did get their flags out, so not a complete and total disaster. In fact, getting all flags out of there, I was very impressed that they managed to do that. But as you can see... The CSA has really not lost very many tickets at all, and the Union is down almost a full morale state after that first attack. I'll have to see what their next plan of a maneuver is. And point of contention is down there. CSA spawn in the orchard, Union spawn right. Yeah.
There's more than three. That's for sure. It's like the Union is going to try to rotate at least some of their elements now to the right side of the field here. We'll see how the CSA reacts to it. They might catch a couple nice tickets here with these scouts. Gene, what are you doing out here? Man, that's 15 tickets they just got. CSA just gave it to them. Oh, we got a forward attack here? By two core? I don't know about this. CEO Panama's trying to ambush him, but he's going to lose a few men as well. you got to keep in mind how few tickets the CSA has in this match here. You can already see they're kind of pissing away the advantage they won. Uh, you know, they're still ahead, but uh, you start making too many out-of-line mistakes like that, it really adds up very fast here. So it looks like a not a full, but a major push by the Union on this side. They're already knocking the MS a little bit here. We've got 5th core, and then we've got Parker on the far flank here. We'll see what the CSA does. They really don't have too much defending this side of the field. At best, they've got this one unit here, uh, Mr. Uh, Braun here. But, uh... Who went to get reinforcements? Here they come. Oh, oh okay, second call, left face. Left face, left face, double click. Left face, left face, left face, double click, left face, let's go. Rise up, left face, sprint time, let's go. No, 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 we don't know, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, double quick, double quick. Now, I do not agree with stopping Load. here. Make sure you let him back. Make sure you let him I think this is a mistake, because I think you're giving the uh, CSA time to... Uh, Continue to move her and to reinforce. I would punch all the way down here into this corner. You're still off a point, but um, I think this point, this the rock formation here is a death trap in my opinion. It's too, it's too, it's much. There's a lot of intersecting fields of fire. The rock really doesn't give you cover, and you just think you're safe and you're not. No, you need to get in their face and shoot them in the face is what you need to do, in my opinion. Spread out on the rocks. No, just get in their face and hit them. Yeah, I know you can't sprint, but just just walk in front of them and shoot them. Yeah, I don't know. Get that flag, boy. Well, you can see now the uh, reinforcements are starting to come down here. Now, the Union does have another force on this other side. Maybe this is a distraction to enable uh, that force to attack, but they need to start doing it here while this opening is here. Ha! Huh. Load. And here it comes. The CSA brought. They did not. Is it coming down? What are you guys doing? There's nobody there. Get moving, Eddie. Oh, it's Sluggy leading it. All right. All right. So they are coming down here, and now the CSA has completely abandoned this side of the field. It was a perhaps a critical mistake. HL has TJ seen the problem here, but I don't know if he has time to uh, get down here and fix it before the Union gets entrenched on that position down on the corner and can fight its way up the fence. A, I think a pretty big mistake by the uh, CSA team, but a very successful diversion there from the NYV and the 5th Corps. You can see how close the morale state is now. All that advantage is gone. Now quickly it changes. Now the Union could just kind of slowly roll this up here if they want. Pour it in, gents. Oh my word, they are all dying. They're dying in their throats. Now, if you're looking for a Union regiment, you may want to check out the 88th New York here. They are part of the uh, New York Volunteers along with the 6th New York. Uh, they play in uh, several events, uh, including both Saturday UEC and the um, this HRE on Sunday, as well as several. Uh, they join with 6th New York for other um Events for any times, like the uh, TSA they participate in, as well as the um, HDC on Friday and Saturday, respectively. We've got a flank attack here developing by 
Four charger. Mr. Owens here. This might be a very good counter counterattack here if you can pull it off. But yeah, no, a lot of um, 88th. Another really good units. A lot of good folks here. Pretty smart. Part of the. They're also part of the UEC community, so they are. They are one of the members of that. Um, not only the event, but the community itself. So, um, link in the description to uh, their Discord if you want to check them out. And uh, all these units links are also in the description. If you see anyone, you're like, oh, this seems cool. Let me check out these guys. I highly encourage you to do so. And you too can be in these events. Oh, I hope you still watch. But it's kind of fun to play it too, you know. They coming! They coming! Get ready to brace, boys! Get ready to brace! Athens, load and hold! Load and hold, boys! Load and hold! Load and hold! Load and hold! Loading and holding. Brace it! Brace it, Athens! Resume independent. Resume independent. 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 No union has hit engaged. Now, we've had a lot of fighting over on this side of the field, which I have not really covered as much. You see, the uh, this, I think, is much... Uh, I, I, I like this positioning a lot more here for this Union element, getting kind of much closer into the face here. And now, here at 30 minutes, they have knocked the CSA down to engage and basically even on tickets. And with excellent positioning, and now they have uh, bayonets and sprinting here. Assistance is coming, boys. Keep it holding. You see, they basically shot off this element over here from 13th Georgia. Boom, and now they can focus all their attention over here on Ron. Get your loads, checks, and ready. Charge bayonets. Two cars going to try to charge him out, which I think is the right call here. But it may be a costly maneuver here. We'll see. Brace left, brace left, together, 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 a very bad Th one. This oh, is America. We need you to have your gun. Do you have a license for that? I have a longbow, good sir. I have a longbow. I don't have a very quick reload. I'm and this sorry. is why. Oh, what, what was it? And, and as you can see, the CSA is continuing to, you know, fall back here on not only positioning but tickets. I, I think that was a good attempt, but uh, it just didn't work out for him. It didn't have enough schlitz to it. What is this over here? Who are you? Lead. Oh, don't do this, Lead. Oh, poor Lead. Uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna get shot. Suck. Ah! Ah! That's why you spawn flag, my friend. It's a five second respawn, but you might make it here. Let us follow the journey of Private H. Lead here. From the NYV, the 6 New York. Who has successfully made it to his friends. Well done, Mr. Lead. They're falling back. <laughs> now, to their credit, the CSA is stabilizing this flank here, but honestly, at, at this morale state loss... Oh, they didn't make uh, Gettysburg into a real thing. That's all communist propaganda. Who's playing the fucking harmonica? Shoot them as they come out. Shoot them as they come out. They're coming out. Zulus! No. Go down. Left fence. Left fence. Down the fence. Keep the fire up, boys. Maintain the fire. Oh, the fence here. Depend. 
Oh, well, hold the hiding again. Oh, no, in the corner, oh. directly in the corner at the smoke. In the fire, directly at the smoke, in the corner. See how much damage that fire is doing to him, and the Union is starting to win this gunfight. At a pretty heavy pace here, although it looks like we have another maneuver over here. Nice this is what I like here, you get stuck in over here. We're getting charged from the left. Behind you, fifth corner. Behind you. Nice. We're getting pinched. Behind. We're taking them. Thirteenth break. This is a pretty good pinch attack. Pincer attack here. With Victor on one side here. Focus east. And HL on the other. Was that HL or was that Zio? That might have been. I can't tell who it is. It's a mixture. But even if you're losing, look at the tickets here. You know, you get all these out of lines. You get these uh. Shoot him, these fights here, and you really, you know, even if you lose this eventually, which is tough to do when you have two flags here, keep in mind, you know, that's 12 men coming in every 30 seconds. It's 24 men coming in every minute. It is, unless you overwhelm it, it is hard to wipe it out. That was a corporal. He should have known better. Let's take these units to our rear first. Let's these guys rear. Get that flag up, get that flag up. Let's go, let's go now, let's go, let's go. Got the flag in the back. Independent brace, brace, brace. Independent brace. Brace defense. Brace defense, Don't fence, Don't fence, Don't fence, Don't fence, Hola. Thirteenth about face on me. Looks like 13 is going to fall back here, and then while it was away here, it looks like 11th MS has pushed up here and is now squeezing the CSA while the Air 2 USC has rotated up as well as 88. CSA now at taking losses at 24 behind the Union. Again, this is why I think, you know, getting up there in that corner, not staying on those rocks, really is uh, driving this success here, as is pretty aggressive fighting from the rest of the Union team over here. Just squeezing them and squeezing them. And then you haven't had to cap yet either. Although it looks like now the union is moving towards a cap, which I might not do yet. I think you could, uh. Alright, so they've now ordered the uh, pull out here. Which actually, now that they're pulling off, if they go and link in with the friendlies over to their east, this might work out well. They get both of their flags out, that would be excellent for them. Yeah, Parker just needs to rotate to the east and join up with his friends over there. Well, actually, this rock works fine now. Now, before I said the rock was bad, and it was, but now it's a different situation. Now I'd say if you're going to look to cap, you know, it's a good point to uh, reconsolidate and just push on cap. They're at the big tree. They're at the big tree. The CSA, I would say, needs to disengage here. And in fact, I would say force the cap and then try to get a counterattack to get some tickets back. The Union needs to be in a position to hold it. Hey, uh, Parker, this is on point. This is on point, just so you know. You're going to cap. Yeah, to get your shot in now, you got, you know, now you got killed with five tickets. You guys are still on point, by the way. Should we, should we, should we, should we, should we, 
Guys on the fences, get off point. Get off point. Too late. It's too late. You guys had to get your shots in. You know, you guys had to kind of, you know, that's what does it. Poor discipline. Now, I would do a full attack now as a CSA and try to wipe out the Union here. Try to reset the battlefield. And in fact, we have... Who is this over here? EJ's trying to get on the on the flank here, but he doesn't have a lot of men. Now, you still have this unit out here. They can provide some flanking fire. And they are going to go in. It's going to be a fight now over this point. You can see that attack has forced the CSA to move back here and secure this position. It's just going to be a fight over the point now for seven minutes. And I think now that the CSA has kind of lost that flank lodgement, and in fact they've lost this lodgement as well now with this counterattack by the two USC against HL, really the CSA doesn't have a lot of good options. They don't really have a good avenue of attack. They're going to have to figure out some way to mass an attack. If they stay in this gunfight, they are going to lose. And the longer you wait to make that decision, the worse off you're going to be. Now you can pull off and reconsolidate with your friendlies if you want to try to reorganize before you do that. But right now, you are just getting weaker and weaker, and the Union is getting stronger and stronger the longer you stay in this gunfight. And the Union has hit taking losses. The CSA is close to breaking. We've got five minutes on the counterattack, which is really the important piece. Again, what, is, what are you trying to do here? What is achieved by staying in this gunfight? you got to think about, okay, what am I doing? How am I going to get after what I need to get after? Now, first you need to say, what do I need to get after? The answer is I need to recap points. So what do I need to do that? Well, I need to mass up and figure out an angle of attack. Getting in a shootout doesn't do anything for that. It's like, oh, I'm weakening the Union. You're not weakening the Union with a five-second respawn. What, are you kidding me? Five sec, five second respawn spawn with four flags. Twenty four men per thirty seconds, forty eight men per minute. Two minutes, your whole side's in. Wait, we can that for shit. Now with a single unit. Now, okay, you're gonna be like, okay, do we attack on a flank? Do we mess on a flank? Yeah, maybe that could work. Got two USC doing a good job as a flank guard out here. Kind of disrupting anything they might try. Uh, yeah, I mean, you are kind of far. I'm not going to lie. Right, right side, TJ. Right side, a little bit of anger. Yeah, and you can't fight with one unit in this situation. You need to come up with a joint plan. You need to execute that. You can't be doing an individual action that is unsupporting the wider plan. You got a few men over here trying to gather up, but they're going to get seen here and going to get murked. Not fully masked. This go, this attack go, will not work. And there's the end of that attack. 
Two minutes remaining. Now we've got a separate attack over here that's not really aggregated to anything. Individual action is not going to solve this problem for you guys. Now there's no steam chat or anything like that, but kind of have to kind of think. Okay, I got to find other friendly units, and we got to figure out what we're going to do as a team. You just go off and do your own thing. Turkey, by the way. I'm the turkey, by the way. Oh, there's some good. Oh, shit. On the right, on the right, on the right. Oh, the turkey's keeping going. What are they doing? What are they doing? Get on. Whoa. And the CSA is about to be put on to final push. Oh, shit. Yeah, wait for it. There we go. That's in a minute now. You guys don't need to get back here. You need the flag over there in the main contingent. Always keep your logistics consolidated in a safe location. There is no point in having it exposed out here. And you might have a flag wipe. Keep in mind what a flag is. A flag is not just the respawn. Your flag is six men every 30 seconds, 12 men per minute. That is what your flag is. This guy is 12 men every minute. Just the final push. And it's over. Ah, uh, decisive win by the Union. So you say you got two disaggregators, especially towards the end there. You can't do that. Um, the Union, uh, you know, the initial part, you know, charge failed, and that might have uh, given the CSA a lot of confidence. But they reacted well. They pushed forward. They seized that key terrain. And even though they uh, capped when they didn't mean to, it didn't matter in the end. So, uh, good HRE. Uh, fun to watch. And, uh... Yeah, I hope you all have a good week. Um, I'll probably do War of Secession tonight. I might not be around on Wednesday. I don't know, but we do have the reenactment for next uh, Saturday. This will be mostly what I'm doing. I might do some of the NA events, but probably not. We'll see. We shall see. Depends if I can finish the editing this week. Anyway, you all have a good one.